But I, again, I like the whole album, but uh, I tell you what song I don't like. Which? Fucking Cowboys from Hell. That's Jesus just because that's just you said everybody, no, I everybody like, covering I, it. Yeah, so I like the song, but I'm fucking tired of every goddamn Fort Worth, Dallas musician thinking they're fucking Dimebag Daryl and playing that fucking song poorly. You do it right. You do yeah. it good. I'm okay yeah. with it. Hey, can not can tell you a secret? Applause. Yeah, I, I can't play it. Yeah. <laughs> but see, the thing is, you don't get up there and try. No, like I Jim Cry. Jim Cry plays a yeah, fucking song. Great. great. He's good. He's a fucking great guitar player. He gets up and does it right. You get these other assholes hacks. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, I'm going to play homage. No, you're fucking shitting on a dead man. Get the fuck off of the stage with that shit, man. I'm all right until they go to the solo and they, they <sighs> do the carry King and don't. They just kind of pick. Random yeah, patterns. random patterns. Like, They're not even playing in key or something. It's like, yeah. it's like, wow, your right hand moves real fast. Your left hand's like a turd. And like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got to work out both of them. Don't just jerk yeah. off right hand. You got to jerk off left hand. But at least I got the woo down. Oh, like, woo. I'm so tired. Yeah, man. At least I got that down. You know, look, you want to play a, a Pantera song that's not too terribly difficult. You can play Walk. That's not too terribly difficult. To yeah, play. Ben Sevenfold did that. Yeah, they did. yeah. You could play a uh, new level. That's not too terribly yeah. difficult. But yeah, don't non point don't, did that. Yeah. Don't play Cowboys from Hell if you can't play it. Nobody did that. Yeah. How about we just do like PST eighty eight off power metal? That's, that's there you the go. The one where Dimebag sings on it? Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, no, no, that was Diamond Daryl. Uh, uh, Diamond Dust Daryl back Diamond then. Dust Daryl, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a porn star. Yeah. yeah. He was. He looked, oh. like a, he looked like an eighties porn star. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Do you, have you seen Have you seen the the Daryl in the pink spandex? It was the, the hair band version, the hair metal version oh, yeah. of Daryl Abbott. Yeah, yeah. Matt still has that poster somewhere. The power metal poster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good poster. I got the, an old uh, Randall poster that I found in the back of Zoo Music. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's him before the Washburn and before the Washburn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, really cool though. I like it. Yeah, he didn't want to do why he wanted to. I do think Dean. he's playing a Jackson in it. Like I don't. I think. I don't think he's playing a Dean on the advertisement that I got the poster of. Yeah. I think it's a Jackson shaped like the. Did Jackson make a goofy one like that? Yeah. And it's one of those that was probably like, hey, we got a guitar shaped like yours. Hold it in front of our amps. And he was like, okay. You know, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so I, don't, I don't think there's a lot of live footage of him playing a Jackson, but. Yeah. He's definitely holding a Jackson in the picture. Jackson, or, yeah. Or a guitar with a Jackson shaped headstock. Shaped headstock, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was one of those like star. Thing burst. Yeah, it, yeah, it looks like a dime bag guitar, but yeah. then the headstock's like Jackson. Jackson, yeah. Maybe it was a Frankenstein. No, I had no, no clue. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is the part where we talk. You know, all the obsc- we're doing obscure news now because Jeremy doesn't like talking about uh, you know current events, and that's fine. I don't like talking about the bullshit people are talking about either because it pisses him off. And goddamn, if we have a pissed off Jeremy, then it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm never mad. No. Watch, little, watch this. Watch little, this. Little so the there. Cheeto in chief. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that. This one. Yeah. That one. That's that. I'm gonna shoot you. Smile. So we're, we're gonna do. Can't some shoot you. That'd be a hate crime. It would be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, in obscure news, Tinder. You guys are familiar with Tinder? No. Yeah. Tinder. Apparently, it's this. Um, I know what it is, but I've never used it. I've never used Tinder also. I mean, I've heard of Tinder, and I just thought it was some, you know, whatever. I, I, I was so fucking oblivious to the Tinder app. I didn't know that it was a fuck site. I had no, yeah, I had I no clue. I thought it was a, like a Facebook or a Instagram or whatever. The fuck. So I was yeah, I got a Tinder. And like, okay, what the fuck is that? Well, it's a dating app. I was like, oh. Booty call oh. app. Booty call app, right. See, I don't know if I could do that. That's like, that's like. And she's an idiot. Okay, she's an idiot and a psycho. She's a psycho idiot. She's a psycho idiot. Is she hot? No. Well, fuck. That's three strikes. You're out, bitch. <laughs> 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 but so, okay, so Tinder's branching out. Apparently, there's a uh, very uh, endangered white rhino who has a Tinder account. Yes, I, I heard that. You heard that? Yeah. White rhino is on Tinder looking for a booty call. Ah. Yeah, I could uh, send him to an African hippo. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like the what was it? Was it Pornhub that did the? Uh, As a woman, I don't understand. Maybe they, these three. No, 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 no. It's an actual white rhino, like a, 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 a animal. A 
Well, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like the... They, they, this they exist. exist. They, they exist. exist. <laughs> this is a real This is a animal. real animal, a rhino, you know, rhinoceros, yeah, I don't like rhino. right? I understand that, but you're talking about tender. No, 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 yes. So the... Okay, so he, he's endangered, and the zoo or habitat that has him, they're trying to find him a mate. You're so. About a real story. Yes, this is for real. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, we're talking about Tinder. This is a real story on Tinder. It's a real story about Tinder, about these zookeepers or so whatever. So they need to find another white rhino so they can fuck and make little exactly. baby white rhinos. Yeah. And oh, they could make sweet, sweet love. We're talking about Tinder. The yeah. thing that we just called a fucking app. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. So okay. You don't know what fucking or Tinder is. <laughs> we just explained Tinder. Computer. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, Tinder is an app meant for human beings to swipe left. Apparently, is that the one you do to uh, swipe left? To swipe in one way. Swipe left to fuck. Swipe right to put in the garbage or some shit. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> something like that. Something These like people's that. lives. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, man. But so they're looking for a mate for this so, white so, so yeah, because you know uh, Tinder. Would, somebody might have one. Somebody might have. Somebody it. might have an endangered white rhino as a pet and as a female. Papua New Guinea. And now somebody. Yes, the white like rhino. Somebody has made it. Somebody has made it an account. No, I, I, I know you. I, you know, I thought it was crazy too until I looked it up. Oh god! Damn. I think it's probably real. No, it's real. No, it's for real. I think that's that really one way of going. Look. I don't. Again, I am not uh, defending them doing it. I don't know why they did it. I think it was a joke. Uh, on the, the on, it's on the to get people TV, to but, talk about like we're but doing exactly yeah and then somebody yeah. out there has a you know coke manufacturer down in <laughs> South America that has a white rhino <laughs> and their heart's going to be like mm, let's do it yeah you know let's yeah. send ours to yeah. there and make maybe and then we'll make some babies yeah and if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen but you got to try so I'm mm-hmm. curious uh, so here's a, this is what the you know the I, I'm curious I. You found it. World's last male northern white rhino joins Tinder from yep. CNN.com. There you go. And then right below it is world's last white rhino male Sudan joins Tinder to save from CBS. Ah, so yeah. now that we've got a uh, possible yeah. connection. But the person behind the Well, sure. It's not the rhino no, actually picking rhino up actually phone. <laughs> That would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Someone film that. <laughs> I want to see that shit. So, yeah, uh, I guess. It is, it is to get more. It's to get. Awareness and all that stuff, yeah, yeah, for sure. But I just think it's funny because yeah, I think it, it says I it think wants you to say, swipe right to help save him. Okay, so swipe right to fuck and swipe left to trash. I okay, guess so. Very good. So very I mean, you swipe I'm sorry, right, swipe so right to make sweet, sweet love. Yes, and save swipe. Rhino. Yeah. <laughs> it's to raise. You no, know, see, I would think. Yeah, I would think Kickstarter would be or something. Yeah, but yeah. So there might be a female white rhino somewhere in the There's world. Not. Yeah, told you in Papua New Guinea. Right. Papua yeah, New Guinea. Just, Papua New Guinea. There they're all, they're always in Papua New Guinea. <laughs> okay. That's the answer to everything. So I wonder what his. If you're looking says. for an answer, it's in Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. I yeah. wonder his profile is like I perform well under pressure. Mm-hmm. I'm horny. I'm horny. I mean, it has to be right. <laughs> he is horny. Yeah. He's a rhino. <laughs> I like to eat grass and chill in the mud. What the fuck do you say as a rhino to get other rhinos to fuck you? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, is it a dance you got to do? Is there a video of him doing like his little mating dance? <laughs> I'll it's meet, that video I'll with meet, the rhinos. Uh, I'll the meet you at the Oasis. Yeah. That's yeah. what they say. <laughs> Played an acoustic guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Singing rhino love songs. Yeah. <laughs> Ario Speedwagon songs. <laughs> <laughs> that would work. Oh, man. That would actually work. Uh, so here's some some news that you probably have a little uh, you have less of a time. You're going to believe this shit, okay? Cause, so in Germany, you're going to believe this. There's a place called Germany? There's a place called Germany. Wow. wow. Oh, yeah. Impossible. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't believe it either until I looked at a map for the first time. Uh, exactly. Once I looked at it, I was like, oh, fuck. And there it is, Germany. God yeah. damn. That's that place that Cheeto and Cheap is from. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from there, too. I know. So sad. So, so sad. Oh, I'm sorry. Get to it, she says. So in Germany, uh, they are construct- constructing a four-mile-long beer pipeline. I like it. Yes. We're going to fucking Germany. Yeah. Of course it's there. Of course it's Germany. It's not like it's not Michigan. Yeah, it's like, no, no. Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Where else would it be? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like in Colombia would be the four mile line, Coke line, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. No. No, no, no. This is for real. No, okay. So they're doing this. They're, they're having a metal festival. And to keep. So for so long, like in between dates. 
No, they dug that shit and it's laid. They're they're actually they laying it. I don't know, but it's it's a four mile long pipe. I don't. They're gonna right, leave it there, so but apparently, well, no, they're gonna leave it there. So apparently, the, the place that they're they're running it to, is like a is a field. They do a lot of festivals and a lot of stuff there. So instead of having a bunch of trucks come in and tear up the ground and whatever, they're just gonna fucking pipe that shit in. Nice. That's fucking genius. That is. I mean, think about it this way: nobody's ever gonna complain about a spill. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> that shit fucking breaks. Not gonna hear. It's not gonna be the news. <laughs> gonna be too drunk to report it. Did you see that truck that flipped over and all the Bud Light? Uh, like, oh yeah, that's somebody says where it belongs. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, but still, that sucks. Yeah, it's still free beer it's gone. Free beer gone. Yeah. Oh. So I know we're not supposed to talk about. Speaking of beer, we're not supposed to talk about current events. But bars, what? we're we're not supposed to talk about current events because of rent and rent over here. Yeah. So we know what happened this week. Everybody knows what happened with the whole FBI director, former FBI director yeah. Comey, right? Now, when you think when you go to a bar, what is it you go to a bar to do? Drink. To drink. Bars were opening early to have watching parties for this fucking C-SPAN bullshit. Are you fucking kidding me? So you're going to drink and watch politics. Isn't this a dangerous combination? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there's only one outcome when it's musicians or artists. You're right. Yeah. Apparently there were people. I mean, there were people in these places. They, they they packed some of these bars. They were fucking into it, man. I said, what? Because the bars are running specials. I don't know if that's it or not, but people were generally interested in what this guy had to say. And when he had oh, to say, it was talking about, Comey? talking about Comey. Yeah, they were interested. But still, I'm not gonna go to a bar to watch that shit. Yeah, it's not like I mean, it's aren't not, the playoffs or the finals going on? <laughs> It doesn't really matter if they're going to tell me the truth or not. It's the fact that it's boring as shit. Yeah. I want to go fucking... Yeah. I'm going to go to a bar and say, shh. Yeah. Listen to what he's saying. He's talking about emails. <laughs> Fuck off, man. I'm going to a bar. Like, Come on, man. Put the fucking game on. There's got to be a baseball game somewhere. Yeah. It's nighttime in Japan. Put the fucking game on. God damn it. I just don't understand why. Why? 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 To make you ask that question. I guess. And it worked, so, you know, why not? That's what we need to do, Ty. We need to open a bar. Anytime uh, no. some stupid shit comes no. on fucking C-SPAN. Yeah. When they're... Okay, look, so the next time that they're arguing about the budget, you open a fucking bar. It's the budget bar. Fuck it. We're going to open That's early. Great See? Bar. The budget bar. The budget bar. We'll have cheap drinks, so it works on so many different levels. And, and, and cheap, and cheap uh, bands. Cheap bands, yeah. And well, that's just regular bands music. now. <laughs> Yeah, the budget bar. Yeah, it's like the profit bar, except better. About the budget bar. Oh Jesus! See, I'm gonna have to bring Tyrell back for that one because that's a such a long conversation, and I'm so irritated. Yeah, the worst part about it is the fact that people people want to talk about underpaid, you know, burger flippers, and all that talk about underpaid. And you know what? You want to get fifteen an hour? I'm all for it. But they want to talk about the rate of inflation. Fucking hell. You know how much musicians were paid per man back in the fucking 50s? 50 bucks. You know how much they're paid now? 50 bucks. Nothing has changed except the price of everything. Yeah. Duh, I don't want to get I don't want to get I'm getting angry. Another show. Yeah, another show. I'm going to get angry about it. I don't want to get angry. I don't want to be Jeremy. I like seeing you <laughs> angry. <laughs> so, who likes Papa John's? Not yeah, not a fan not either. So not a fan either. There were some employees at Papa John's though that had the greatest idea ever. They smuggled their drugs in Dude. pizza boxes. Awesome. Fucking hell. Awesome. You know the only thing would have made it was cocaine. So they were doing they were hiding the cocaine in the pizza boxes, doing it and then doing the deals in parking lots or you know driveways or whatever. But that's how they were. That's how, and they yeah. got busted. The only way that could have been better is if it had been weed. <laughs> that fucking hell, man. Yeah. If it is, it's weed and pizza, hand in hand. It's like Coke and pizza. Come on now. Speaking of weed and pizza, you seen that uh, dude? It's the uh, he talks Pizza Hut. He goes on their Facebook page and he talks shit about him. And he's like, just ordered a pizza. None of my toppings. Nothing was on the pizza. Absolutely nothing. Just crust. And I will never shop there again. I'll never order. And he goes on this long thing. And then Pizza <laughs> Hut gets a hold of him. And they're like. 
what, what, what was your order number? We'll fix it. And he goes, next one says, my bad, fam. Open the box upside down. Hi.